guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today is a Mall of America haul slash uh, try on video for you guys. I'm going to share with you guys what all I got at the mall. I don't go to the Mall of America all that often so when I go I try to like take my time and shop around and sometimes I end up with quite a few things. So most of the things I got um, honestly were from Abercrombie but I also got a couple things from Buckle, one item from Francesca's. Um, and so there's quite a few items so I wanted to like kind of style them, try them on for you. I also got everything on clearance. I have not added up how much I've saved yet because the half the tags are still on this shirt. You'll probably see them in the try on. Uh, but I will add everything up and I will let you know kind of the savings because I'm really into finding deals. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to do this voiceover and I'm going to post brands and prices, but this first batch is all going to be Abercrombie and Fitch. And this first outfit, super summery, it is this like ruffle striped tube top paired with a skort. I am here for the skort trend. I don't know why it ever left. They are so comfortable while looking so good. But the top is a kind of ruffle tube top, like I said. Uh, they also have it in solid colors. I just feel like I needed the stripe better. And as you can see, the skort has a bit of a hardware detail, which is super cute, and a zipper on the side as well. And then the tube top itself has a tie on the side so that you can kind of adjust how tight you want the tube top at the bottom. And you can also pull it down to be a little bit longer, pull it up to make it a little bit shorter. And the skorts are a pretty thick material, and so is the tube top. So nothing is real thin or see-through. The next outfit is a simple like ribbed cinch tank paired with a twill uh, paper bag shorts. Paper bag shorts are super in and I'm here for it as long as you get them so that you can still sit in them. But these are pretty forgiving. Um, I just got these in my normal size. I love that the bottoms are cuffed and then sewn on the side so that they won't become undone in the wash. And it is just one button and then uh, a zipper like kind of typical shorts with that like tie into a bow. The pockets are pretty big and I like that these are 12 because they are thicker than your traditional like linen shorts which can be way too thin and see-through and the cinch tank is like I said very basic but I actually like it so I got it in two colors so here's that like white grayish version of it and then I also got paper bag shorts in denim as well. So these are a little bit different than those twill ones um, because they are more of a rigid denim. So these are less forgiving and I did have to size up. You still have pretty big pockets and you still have that kind of tie on the top that you can adjust however you want. But instead of it being one button and a zipper, it is like buttons all the way down, which can get a little bit frustrating and honestly a little bit confusing when you're drunk. So just watch out for that. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, uh, pockets are still big. I really like the bottoms of these that they're not cuffed but they kind of look cuffed you know what I mean it's still got that bit of detail and then here you can see a better detail of that uh, ribbed cinch top. Next I got a pair of jeans and this flannel top let me just say this flannel top is the softest flannel top I own it is insanely soft and I like that it is just a little bit shorter um, so that you can wear it with high waisted jeans or something like that it is not a traditional button down. Um, it is just like a ruffle kind of pullover shirt and then the jeans I believe they they say it's high-waisted I just I think it's more of like a mid-rise to me to be honest I like that the back pockets don't have any designs on them because I don't know I'm kind of over that bit of like the jean trend but I love like this destroyed uncuffed kind of um, unfinished detail on the bottom and then the ruffle top, uh, it's not a traditional like cuff for your plaid um, flannel. It is like, you know, just one button and then you have the one pocket on the side. So this is a different pair of jeans that I bought. Um, this has like a bit of a slit on the side and I did get this in short as well, which is why they're a little bit, you know, they look a little short. Um, and then the top is a kind of not front um, ribbed top kind of feel very casual and these I believe are supposed to be high rise as well again uh, these do I think go a little bit higher than those last ones but it is a bit of a lighter wash and the back pockets again do not have any designs on them and the bottoms again super cute with the details this ribbed tank you can kind of see it's just like you know a traditional ribbed material here and it is a very basic casual top Perfect for summer with a simple v-neck neckline and then the back does dip a little bit So like for me, I'm wearing a bralette. So it just peeks out a little bit Keeping the same jeans on I bought these 
uh, v-neck drapey tees they call them and these are so good if you are looking for like a casual t-shirt that isn't like skin tight that you can just throw on this is it i got this in two colors it has a little bit of a drop shoulder it is like long enough for you to actually like cover what you need to cover and it is a thicker material than most traditional t-shirts which i absolutely love i'm actually really surprised that abercrombie made a shirt with this thick of a material to be honest um, but here's the olive version of that and i just paired it with this knit skirt that i also got from them it is just traditional stretchy skirt that doesn't have a zipper or anything like that kind of bodycon if you will um, red and navy stripes and i like this because it's thick enough to sort of hide um, your lines my issue with skirts like this is that like you almost cannot wear underwear with them because you they always show the lines but these ones don't so moving on to a buckle haul uh, these shorts i got super on sale they were super cheap these are so lightweight and kind of like almost like a tie-dye print and they also have pockets so bonus but it's so lightweight i probably won't actually put anything in the pockets just because I'm afraid of weighing it down. But the tummy as well is super stretchy, so you can definitely sit, eat, do whatever you need to in these. They seriously feel like you almost have nothing on, but they're so cute and so flowy, it's so perfect for summer. And so just while I have this uh, shirt on, I just wanna try on one quick thing from Francesca's. It is this like midi denim -y, linen -y sort of wrap skirt kind of thing. Um, super work appropriate because it is long enough. And, you know, as long as you don't pair it with this shirt in particular, <laughs> but the front is like kind of like a true wrap where you could adjust um, the ties by tying it tighter or leaving it a little bit looser. And the top uh, is very simple, like no special detailing or anything. Um, it kind of just looks like a traditional skirt top, but in the back is where the magic happens because it is stretchy. Yes. That means you can eat, you can do whatever you want, you can pull the skirt up, down, like fully adjustable so you can basically wear it all the time anywhere. Um, back to Buckle. Just threw the jeans back on, but uh, the shirt I got from Buckle, it is like a waffle material. Perfect for like pairing with leggings, wearing it on the airplane. I definitely think I'm gonna be on the airplane with these, well, or with this shirt. Um, it is longer in the back, which perfect if you have leggings and you, you know, don't really believe leggings are pants. Um, but it, the front also like ties a knot and you can adjust kind of where you want that knot and stuff like that. Um, it's just if you fully untie it, it becomes longer than the front, which makes it kind of weird. But the shoulders are kind of like a drop shoulder, simple design. Um, but it goes perfectly with this purse I also bought at Buckle. Uh, this crossbody I absolutely love because these circular purses are so in right now. It is has an adjustable strap. The pattern on the front is like almost straw-like, but not really. Um, but it has these really cool like gold accents. It's got a flap in the front. It's got this really cute like gingham tie-on. Like I said, super cute gold accents all the way around the bottom as well. And then it's pretty roomy. It's just a pretty simple like zippered top. So perfect for the season last thing i have is another buckle top uh well i guess the belt is new too but the top first it is this like mustard yellow flowy kind of like shoulder peaks out kind of thing honestly not something that i would normally go for um i don't like yellow and i don't usually like this style of shirt but when i put it on i just thought it was so cute because these sleeves are so roomy, but they're short, so it doesn't look like it's overwhelming. And then the mustard is broken up by the floral, uh, which I really like. And so the straps are fully adjustable and the clothing is sim like super flowy. And so I think it's perfect for summer. And it's not just like a plain like cut across on the bottom. It's actually got some shape to it. The belt I got from Agachi. Not sure how you say it, but... As you know, the Gucci belts are super in right now and your girl is broke and your girl can't afford that. So this will do. I think this is still super cute. It still gives you kind of that same look and it's only $7. So that is it for my mall haul today, you guys. I loved kind of putting everything on that I bought and just making different outfits with them. I like going shopping when I can find like complete outfits. Like it's really disappointing when I come back and it's like, oh, all I bought are tops or all I bought are pants. Anyway, so let me know if you guys like these fashion videos. I can try to do more whenever the weather is decent. I know lighting was a bit iffy, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and I hope to see you next time. Bye!